No crack line there. Oh, you bugger. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So while we're down at Auto Mods, we've got this car in that's having some work done. Um, customer bought it blind, uh, quite cheap. Uh, so it's come straight here for Auto Mods to do an inspection on it. So here's Mark, Auto Mods. Hello. Tell us what you're doing then, Mark. So we're going to remove all the uh, plastic covers and induction and remove all the coil packs so we can do an inspection on the actual cylinders itself with our camera. So, hopefully we've done all that enough. What's the symptoms of the car? Well, Does it start or? This car runs, doesn't run very well though, uh, for some reason, it, it, it starts uh, and it just runs. And the customer's obviously brought this, not really um, knowing much about the focuses. Um, and he suspects that either it's got a head gasket issue or crap liner. So, it's Which brought, we all know is a common thing on these. Yeah, yeah, common thing. So it's, come, it's coming to us for its inspection. We can, obviously, we've got the proper equipment where we can put the camera down the bores and check to see if it's got any liner issues before ripping the engine apart and being greeted with a crack liner. Right. What, like a lot of times where we couldn't physically see a crack. So it's worth doing this and at least we know where we are and we don't have to rip an engine apart completely. And if the customer wants to, he can take the car back in working condition, well, working condition. Yeah better being the, the engine being all taken apart and not being able to do anything with it. Yeah, and less labour and whatever like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because once we've pulled the engine apart, we can't put it back together. It's not, it's no point because of, we've got to put money into it to yeah. rebuild it. Yeah, yeah. And it's not worth doing that if the engine has a crack in it. Yeah. Obviously, doing our light inspection and making sure there's no cracks in there, doesn't give us a 100% guarantee that the engine is still good without pulling the cylinder off. Because of the way the engine's designed, and we have these uh, gaps within the liners, there's still a good chance that those liners can be uh, swollen. Right. And basically, if they're swollen and the gap's closed up, unfortunately, uh, it's, it's scrap. Yeah. So it needs an engine rebuild anyway. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get all these covers off now. We've also noticed while we've just been talking and stuff that it looks like he's got a cam leak. We've got a lot of oil around here and it looks like his um, engine mount is actually uh, leaked as well. It looks very uh, crusty. Oh, well, that is. I think it must be the contents of the bottle and stuff. So I'll we'll get it all undone. We've bunged up the uh, induction. You don't want any bolts dropping down there because obviously that makes the uh, turbo fail. <laughs> Probably not much you can see at the moment. It's a very uh, Oh yeah, it's got an oil leak going on on top of the uh, cylinder head too. So some gouts to address. So while we've just uh, been chatting, we've just undone the loom. We've just realised it's got an oil leak going on. As you can see, it's all over the top. Not sure exactly where it's coming from because that's fastened on. So chances it will be. Is that normally a common thing then, Mark? This, this, this the pipe breather, here. this breather kit, yeah, the breather pipe, yeah. On some of the earlier versions, they were plastic, and they cracked over here or down here, or just generally get baggy on the connection. Now we know this has been replaced at some point because it's rubber and it's got a nice new sticker on it down there. Oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah. But also a non-standard fitting Jubilee. 
So, so they split and basically the cat. it puts oil back into the head uh, like a breather. Yeah, it, well, it, it, there's a hole. It comes from the top more than anything right. because obviously there's a hole in the top of the cylinder head. Ah, okay. So oil vapors over time turns into oil a yeah. lot of it, and then just gets all. Is over that going here. back down to the oil filter? That will go back to the oil yeah. housing. Yes. Uh, and to remove the core back from the spark plug. Yeah. So we need to do a, a full inspection uh, the cylinders. Yeah. Well, it's part of the process, it's not very exciting. So we just remove those three. And the spark plugs are coming yeah. out, yeah. They're all, well, the first three have been loose, and so is this one. But no, this one's not forever. So that won't help for. What sort of indication does that give you then? For those that don't well, know. Well, having the loose spark plugs doesn't mean it's going to run properly. No, no, no change now. So that can make, that can make compression issues. Uh, it's not like virtually sealed. Properly, yeah, exactly. So it'll be loosely. Uh, Could that be what's caused the oil then on the top? No, 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 because they're all pretty. Although there's oil there, there's oil gone down into the uh, the holes, but the plugs are quite clean. So obviously you, you're not going to get oil from the cylinders up here. It just doesn't happen. Generally, with the I was just sort of trying to clear something up for the yeah, viewers. No, that's fine. Basically, having loose plugs would give you. In, uh, uh, Running problems, misfires, Spark, mis misfires, yeah, maybe uh, bad starting because you're slightly lower compression. It shouldn't right. be because it's leaking past there, not the actual seal of the actual plug. Okay, so you can lose compression past the plug, and when in turn giving you a bad start, bad running. Um, what plugs have we got in there? Standard ST plugs. Uh, so yeah, so. This is our camera system. Nice little snap on unit that we use. With our little camera, we've got two, well, it's actually got two cameras on it. Let me just clean these ones. There you go. <laughs> Say hello, Rich. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so we're going to put it on our side camera view. We'll just up the brightness of the the actual torch. Okay. It's a cool bit of kit, isn't it? That? So that, because it's really, really small, allows us also to check see if the block mod's already been done. Right. Not all the time, Not depending the time. on the shims yeah. it's fitted. If they've, if they've been left really long, because sometimes you can see them, but what generally, about 6% of the time we get to see the shims, but right. uh, it's not conclusive. So now we're going to go down into the ball. And so ideally you want to be looking at the camera. So now we can see the valves and we're looking at the cylinder adjacent to cylinder two. So this is cylinder one and we can rotate all the way around and see what the issues are. Now we know that that's cylinder one looks absolutely fine there's no cracks in cylinder one so then we just jump to this next cylinder and we turn the camera around so we're facing that cylinder to start off with so we know where we are and i can't get in because the right, one second what was it i need to change so we've just altered the uh, position of the piston so we can get the camera in so okay so this is cylinder adjacent to one so cylinder two so as you can see, there's no crack there. And that is the cylinder side wall, opposite cylinder three. Yet again, perfect. So now we can go to cylinder three and just check that one. Okay. As you can see, uh, that looks okay. That's in between two and three. Uh, no, and that's in between. No, trying up in that position. That's yet again. Oh, oh god! In between three and four. So we'll go on to the next one. 
Okay. I need to move the engine. One second. Ian. Uh, this is a between. This is cylinder between three and four. That looks okay. All looks good as well. Hmm. All looks dry as well, which is uh, unusual because it certainly uh, is an issue going on. All right, cylinder five. Okay, so we've got something going on. We've got a lot of oil in there. I can't really tell what it is. It doesn't look like a crack, it just looks like a scratch. But there's a lot plenty of oil going off in there. Hmm. You see those? That yeah. is water stains, rust stains on the balls. So there's certainly something going on with the cylinder, which is unusual for cylinder fire, so yeah. But I think we could take a chance, it's just definitely a head gasket issue. And I've just noticed something as well, which backs up a head gasket issue, is that it's had a pipe replaced. If you look here, that pipe is new compared to that pipe. Yeah. So it's clean. <clears throat> yeah. Which are very common, guys. So if you have got one of these, make sure you keep your eyes on these heater matrix pipes. It pops up on the groups all the time. So yeah, this is where I'm We've had it go on us before, haven't we, at Nürburgring? Yeah. Remember? <laughs> yeah. So that's obviously been replaced. So okay. So popped a pipe off, lost the coolant. It's got too hot, and it's cut the head gasket. Yeah. Is uh, pretty much is pretty much probably what's happened here. But I can show you a block there where the cracks are, and you'll you'll see that it is it can be picked up on a camera. So Mark's kindly got a block that has got a crack in it, just which to show did, you. Which we did last week. Yeah, so uh, you'd see what we should have seen on the orange car. Yeah, should if it, it got a crack. Yeah, it should have okay. had a crack liner. So this is us obviously putting the... Uh, the camera in. In camera in. So we would have looked all the way around first, like that, and then just go all the way around. And then we would have revealed with something like that. As you can see, it's pretty evident what the crack looks like. It's very jagged, very thin, and that's it. That's what the crack looks like. Mm. Thanks for that, Mark. Right, so back over to the uh, focus on the ramp now, uh, and Mark's just going to explain a little bit more as what happens next, basically. So now, that, now we know that he's got no cracks in the actual block, we can obviously return to the cluster and say, like, we've got some better news than possibly what was expected. Um, we're going to proceed to report and remove the cylinder head um, later on today or possibly another day right now um, and see what we're dealing with. And may, most likely, given that I can't see any other evidence of any damage to the block, because normally when also we've had serious overheating, we get a V-shape in where the cracks would normally be and it's an indication that the actual block is swollen but we can't see that on this either on our video um, from the camera so we're going to go back to the cat customer tell him that obviously what what we found and all being well we'll have his car up and running next week for him yeah so that's that then guys so hopefully that's a little bit of help to you and insight into what happens here at auto mods don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one if you have any questions Leave them in the comments and Mark will certainly answer them for you. Thank you.